All right, number six, we have two parts here. Um, we're given a set in what they call set builder notation. And we want to write the solution in interval notation. And then I'm guessing we're also going to graph it for part two. So <clears throat> this set builder notation, um, whenever you see the curly bracket, uh, that is read the set of and then x's. So the set of all, really, the set of all x's, and this vertical line is read such that. And then the following is true. So the set of all x's such that negative 4x is greater than 40, or x plus 4 is greater or equal to 5. So we're going to solve each of these for x, and then I'm going to write down a number line and then uh, plot it on the number line, and also write it in interval notation. I feel like writing the number line is going to be essential for you to see it, to be able to do it on uh, in interval notation. Note also that this word or is the same as union. Okay, Those are the same thing, or union. And we will need that symbol uh, when we do interval notation. OK, so let's start out with this one. Negative 4x greater than 40. OK, so to solve for x, we need to divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. And negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. So that just leaves us with x. Whenever you divide by a negative, when you're doing inequalities, the signs change. Also, this inequality sign changes. So it gets flipped the other direction. This is negative 10. So on one side, we have x is less than negative 10. Or okay, on this side, we have x plus 4 greater than or equal to 5. So we would subtract 4. Uh, that goes to 0. Bring down x. It is greater than or equal to. Don't flip the sign this time because we didn't divide by a negative. We just subtract it and we get 1. Okay, so I got these two pieces. Okay, so better to see these um, on a number line so you can do interval notation. So I'm going to do a number line. I'm going to put 0 in the middle. A negative 10 is going to be on the left side somewhere. And positive 1 is going to be on the right side. <coughs> Now, if your variable is on the left, your inequality could be kind of like an arrowhead. It's pointing you in the direction that you're going. So from negative 10, it's not included because there's no equal to. We're going this direction. Okay, so all the way to negative infinity because it just goes beyond. So negative 10 to negative infinity. And this is going to be in parentheses. On the right side, x is greater than or equal to 1. With the equal to sign, we're going to do a bracket, okay? And that arrowhead is pointing to the right. So we're going to be considering everything going this way, which arrow indicates it goes on forever to positive infinity. Don't really need the positive, but just to show you. And infinity will always be in parentheses. So here's what it's going to look like on the number line. When we do interval notation, we're going to be doing it similar to this, but with these endpoints. So you always go smallest to largest. Okay, don't mix up the order. Um, if you put negative 10 to negative infinity, that will be incorrect. Negative infinity is smaller, so you have to go from negative infinity to negative 10. So in interval notation, this is what it looks like. Negative infinity, that's the furthest point to the left. And coming toward the right, we stop at negative 10. And then we say union, because we have another piece separate. And then in a bracket, we're going to put the number 1. And that goes to positive infinity. And that's going to be in a parenthesis. So this is what we need for interval notation. So we've got to pull up the keypad, do parentheses. And I'm going to do negative infinity, comma, to negative 10. And then arrow out of there, union. And then we need to half, close, half, open. Get the bracket on the left. 1 to infinity. OK, now part 2 wants us to graph it on the number line. So the same thing that we have up here. 
So I'm going to do double parentheses first. It's going to go all the way to negative. This side is going to come all the way to negative 10. And then the other side, we need to half open, close. And this endpoint stops at positive 1 and goes all the way to infinity.